Anita, your favorite diva, and I'm back. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, let the diva know you stopped by. Make sure you subscribe if you like the vibe. If this is your first time here, welcome and welcome back, Diva Squad. To the so I give it three out of five stars. It knew what it was, and it delivered just that. Doing a trailer reaction. And Dion. Dion on Diva the Diva's channel. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Nita, your favorite diva, and I am back for Shogun with my girl, Monique Johnson, and we are getting hey. ready to get into it. <laughs> this is episode three. Tomorrow is tomorrow. So, yes, we got one more episode before we start going live with this. So, I hope y'all have been able to catch up with us with these episodes so you can yes. join in on the lives that will be on Wednesday. Don't have the time, but just keep your post notifications on and make sure you check the community wall because I will make an announcement. Yes. So tomorrow is tomorrow. I'm telling you, it feels like these episodes get better and better. Yes. You know, so we're going to get ready to get into this. This is the scene before the even the opening, the opening credits. And they're trying to figure out where Yishibi's uh, alliance lies. Mm -hmm. So, um, they was kind of, they kind of, the general kind of made it feel like he was going to do something. But no, he was mm -hmm. like, aren't you my reliable friend? And then he's like trying to ask him questions to see how he's feeling. But he was like, just come watch this, the morning with me. And so they kind of downplayed it as they always do. Because, questioning you know, his loyalty. Yes. Questioning his loyalty, letting him know we got our good eye on you. Okay. So that <laughs> that was yeah, Boucher, he only loyal to himself. Yes. You know, his people. Well, Child, but... that the way he his um plans keep getting foiled, he is so funny to me. I'd be cracking up. The it's way his he... face for me. It's yes. His face. He's just like... <laughs> right. <laughs> he all over his face. He be sighing. He'd be like, God damn. Like <laughs> right. it'd be so funny to me. But yeah, the name of the episode is tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is tomorrow. We'll get into some of the things as we get into it. Um, I think really this one was pretty much um, Mar Mar Mariko saying that, um, you know, tomorrow's tomorrow. You got to live for today. Talking mm -hmm. about how the um, the climate, like death is in the air around them. Like the climate, the, the baby earthquake that they had, you know, oh, yeah. you know, the smell of war. You know, it's always something that can be going on. So that's one of the things that um, we'll touch on. At the end. So we see the captain of um, the peop the captain. I don't know who he's the captain of, but the captain of his people. Right. He's talking to the, is it the Catholics? It's the, the Catholics. It's the, the Catholics. Catholics. The Catholics. And of course, they're still sitting up there talking about the politics and how everything is actually going on. They don't want him to sell off. They want him to stay there. He was ready to go. They want right. him to stay because uh, Taranaga wanted to uh, some records of how stuff getting uh, um, traded. Traded, and, uh, right. Trying so to like, no, nah, he's like, uh -uh, I set the terms. We set the terms. We, he said, no, I'm going. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. And of course, we get our favorite character, Rodriguez. <laughs> and he's talking to him and he's basically telling him you know, I don't work for y'all. I work for the crown. So mm -hmm. he's like, okay. So he's kind of like putting his little foot down and everything like that. So we'll come back to his character a little bit later. I'm sure this is not the end of him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're getting ready. They're trying to stitch him up because y'all remember in the last episode, it ended off with the assassination attempt. By Kyle. Okay. By Kyle. Kyle. Yep. With um, the engine. And they're trying to stitch him up, of course. So he's pissing, you know, just having a fit, talking about the warlock is not doing something right or whatever. Um, she was like, maybe you want a pillow instead. <laughs> and I was like, a pillow? No, he needs some stitches. What you mean? Um, it was just so funny. Oh. So we see her husband, Bantaro. He comes mm -hmm. in and he's asking, is the animal behaving himself? And I thought that was too funny as well. Um yeah, so that's that's it with that scene. Oh my goodness, the scene that almost broke my heart. We see the baby and the husband's remains. The general, her grandfather, brings them to her. You know, she has to keep a brave face, and you know, just be thankful 
And he basically gives her like this pep talk telling that, you know, the family, the family um, purpose still lives on through you. It's your turn. Yes, that was just so hard to see. I, I was like, dang. Right. When I first saw it, I'm like, and then they started talking. I'm like, oh, yes, that's what that is. I'm like, I see a big box and a little box. I'm like, dang. Right. It was like, it was just like a smack in the face. I was like, oh my God. She had like this one single tear just rolled down, rolled down her eyes. eyes. I was like, oh, girl. I can't even imagine. Can't even imagine. So, yeah. So she understands, you know, her place in the world. She knows that. You know the fight still goes on and stuff like that, and so yeah, he tell he's told her that um they leaving to go to um oh right to uh, where you she <laughs> yo where yo go will yo stay at right his people so yeah we are going there and he wants he wants her to go with them so well the Lord um Tornaga wants her to go with him right so yes there we go so let's see. Now I just I, you know what I mean I understand Bontaro, but he is so mean. Like the son doesn't want the mother to go, Marie, Mariko to go. He comes out and he's like, "Mother, please don't go." And then, um, it's like he I don't know if he hit him or he just sent him he back. He pushed him. Yeah, he pushed him and sent him back. He and pushed I, him back. Said, "You don't get go back back in there." Yeah, I was just like, I mean, I understand. He you don't gotta, like the boy you to be whiny, to be strong and stuff like that. Yeah, he called him a whiny and gossiper because he remember he was talking to his mom. Was, yeah. They was kind of like gossiping, Kiki, and he don't like that. Right, but his son basically trying to call him. He don't want him to be a punk. Right, exactly, exactly. And um, so yeah, so we get there, and then Ishidu, they're getting ready to leave in the caravan. So all the women are getting, you know, put in the, into the caravans and stuff like that. Then the Shido comes and he has to do his inspection, right? So he wants to make sure the people who are leaving are in fact the people who are leaving. So he goes and he looks into all of them, of course. And we already, I, I know Toronaga knew that this probably was going to happen. That's why we were able to do the little switcheroo. So he had the people in there. We had the distraction happening. He, the inspection went well the first time. He he wished them. I thought she was having a baby for real. Right, right. I'm like, oh, girl. He realized, he realized <laughs> it was actually like a ploy or something. So, right. And at that and at that time, when she kind of had like labor pains, that she, you know, I guess it was called Brax. They're called Brax. Brax and Higgs. Like, yeah, the pains that you have before you actually go into labor. So that's the distraction. Mm, can't talk. That's the distraction <laughs> that we had, and then we actually had the wife of Tornaga to leave the caravan and he swapped places with her. Yes. So that was that was I said come on the lady Kiri, Kiri. come on with the with the plans the well laid plans <laughs> but you did see that the engine saw it John saw the plan he saw what was going on there and so when we come down to it again when they're gonna look in the they're trying to look again before they finally leave the the, the, the ground. village yeah so he's making a big scene talking about don't leer at these women it's preposterous he's making a scene because he knows that tornaga is now in the damn caravan all right so he's they're trying to so mariko is trying to she's understanding what he's doing she's trying to talk to the people and say you've offended the the barbarian and stop it you know just stop you know so they're yeah. really just trying to keep them from looking in that particular one mm -hmm. where Tornaga was and he was able to do it. He slapped him a couple of times. I think he got up and he was still making a <laughs> making a big hoopla over this thing and it was a mess. But like a tantrum. Right. <laughs> eventually they were given safe passage to go through. He said he already verified everybody. So get out the way. Ishidu already did this. Come on now. Let's let's keep moving. <laughs> right. Oh so um so they was able to leave the village and they was making their way towards the um I want to say the harbor. Mm -hmm. They was going through these it looked like a wooded area to get to the harbor or whatever. And then all of a sudden, well, first uh we also learned that uh what's his name? John and uh Mariko they was talking and you learned that um John has a, a son and a daughter that he left behind. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know he had kids. So that was news to me. Right. So and 
you know, he was figuring it out that uh what's his name? It's her husband. Uh uh-huh, right. So and as they was walking and talking, and then they got attacked. Right. By uh I wanna say who people, Ishido people or I, I thought I, it was um yeah, it's it Ish- Ish- Kiyama. Kiyama. Is it it the was one, one of them, the uh, the one, one that got, the one that got messed up in episode four. <laughs> it was one of them. They were like, they put a hit out. It's either Ishido men or the other one, the other uh, council men, right? The um, the Christian one. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was either those. those um, because it was like at the time, it's like, who men is this? Right. You know what I mean? It's like it's like they merging. So sometimes you don't know right. who men is who until. More into the dialogue, <laughs> you right. figure it out later. But then we, we we find out that the son figures out that Toronaga is with them. Father, <laughs> right? And so they're looking on the people who gave the orders, and they're looking on, and they're like they're fighting each other. We don't under I don't understand what's actually going on here. So right, we're kind of confused, and they're kind of confused too. So that's yes. all a part of the thing, and. and also said that they uh spot Terranaga. He's in the caravan. Terranaga, he's in the caravan. He escaped. Yes, yes he escaped. Oh. He's escaping. And once um Mariko finds out that you know he he gets out the caravan and starts to fight, and she said, We need to help him. And baby, when I tell you she got up and started, I said, Oh, she got uh-huh, some skills. That's why I had to put it in. Like, look at that picture. She yeah, she got some skills. Yeah. I was like, okay. I said she keep on like the stock goes up on her all the time, each time. Yes. So definitely enjoy that um that scene. And then um, one of the men ran back and said, I gotta go tell Ishido. Right. I was right. Like, oh snap. <laughs> yeah, because like she, she just hitting the fan. Right. And the thing was, it was wild that they was actually getting ready to like they didn't know Tornaga was down there, but they were getting ready to kill his wife and, and they're attacking the women down there. I was just like, wow, this is crazy. Yeah, they didn't care. Right. It was just so crazy to me. So, um, during the attack, they were able to get to, um, shore. Yeah. Uh Yeah. They got to the harbor, got to the shore and they were getting ready to leave. Well, they did leave. And Bantaro actually stayed back to make sure that, you know, they can get a good enough ways away so we can, you know, save Tornaga. So he pretty much sacrificed himself. Um, well, so we think, I don't think so. I don't think so. We'll we'll get into it because what do we always say in Atlanta TV? If you don't see a dead it. body, he's not really dead. Okay, so oh, I don't goodness. think I think they they made us they led us to believe that he might have gone, but I think he is he he may return. So, um, we'll see. Tor- Tornado, <laughs> I loved it. We're gonna watch a clip of this. Um, I love how he gave him his props. And, yep. and we all know, you know, he's a warrior. He knows that this is possible. You know, this is a, still a part of his purpose. And I love that they showed that he was a um, revered warrior. He was very strong. Yeah. Just like they said, he fought off everybody. He did what he had to do. And, you know, John actually wanted to go back for him. He was like, we can go back. We can go back and get him. And they was like, no, it's no. too risky. It's too risky. Right. We cannot do that. And so he know what he signed up for. He know his exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you know, I guess he doesn't really have that concept because they. I don't think that they really operate like that. No, no like no. like these men serve their lord. Like if they're in a village, that's that's what it is. Yeah. And so they had. I was surprised that they had these little looks between um, Mariko and Bantaro because I I don't like them. It, I, I ain't like him either. <laughs> it's a little tension every time he come in the room right. or whatever. Right. But yeah, she but it's still her husband, husband, so they got a kid together, so it's still some kind of tie. Yeah, that's true. Even though we don't like him. Right. <laughs> like I said, he gave him his props, so let's go ahead and watch this clip, because I enjoyed it. Sorry for the she be giving those look. Gave his honor. <laughs> I said, but I don't like him. 
hilarious. <laughs> You might be right, Nita. He might be alive. Cause why are they standing up there like waiting for him? Right. Man, if they really want to kill him, they would have charged that down. Thing. I'm like, why are they waiting? If we ain't coming back, I'm not waiting. Right. That was weird. So. so you might be right. That's why he went off at a camera view, like he went in that room to make it seem yeah. like. So you might be right. So I, yeah, I'm with you on that. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, wait, why is they waiting? <laughs> no, right. Okay. So that was one of the one of the better scenes for me. I, um, yeah, that was a good one for this episode. I had to admit, it was kind of weird how they were just waiting up there, like it was a timeout. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because I don't know. I don't know. I mean, but if, you if, might if, be right, trying to get him. Yeah. But I'm like, is it a respect thing? I, I, I don't know. That is kind of odd. They was just trying to give him his moment. Moment, I guess. I guess. Yes. So, um, can you explain this episode? I mean, this particular... Um... Okay, so they got... Okay, they was on the boat to get to the ship. They got on the ship. Okay. And then um, John, he happened to look over out into the uh, sea. And you see a darkness, but you see boats. boats. Lots of boats. You're like, do people co usually come out here fishing at night? <laughs> They're like, no. And then you see uh, some guys with their boring arrows on the boat. They just waiting. Like, they're going to um, wait for attack mm -hmm. on the ship. So, um, that's when, um, what's his name? Taranaga and, what's his name? You <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to give him a nickname because this ain't right, it. Right. Yabu. Yabu she. <laughs> yeah, that. And uh this is when um they pointed it out and then they realized they had to get to the what's the next one? Black ship. Black, the black ship. Because uh, they said that their ship wasn't gonna be able to, you know, withstand so, that type of yeah, power mm -hmm. attack. So that's when uh Terranaga went to Captain. Time I'll give you permission to uh leave. He was leaving anyway. He said, I don't need that. So they was making a bargain or whatever. He said he's gonna give him like what ten thousand. Um Terranox said he's gonna give him ten thousand silver coins or something. So they were trying to make a, a deal for him and his people, for Terranaga and his people to be on his ship to to avoid the attack. Right. So uh, they wanted John too. Yes, yes. So he said, We'll help you, but we not. We ain't helping John. You got to leave him behind. Right, right. So, and then they planted. They gave the the they gave Tornaga the book with all of the crimes. Yeah, everything you know, the plans, the crimes, everything that went on or whatever. The journal, so, John journals gave him that. And um, and then they told him they like we can go, but John got to stay behind. You know, right. John looking like what. <laughs> Right, like they always get me. They, they got on the boat, but they got on the ship without them. So he was like, "Bump this." He was like, "Yo, right." He on them drums. He said, "I'm about to sell this." Y'all ain't finna leave me behind just a sitting duck, <laughs> right? So he just said, he got them people. I loved it. I thought it was a, a act of good faith that Tornaga knew that he could he could handle himself. Yes, I think he knew that John would be able to figure figure it out. You know, he didn't get sure all the way at to, first. Right. He didn't get all the way to Japan for nothing. You know, right. not for nothing. So he was like, he did it. That's the last picture. Yeah. And then um, so yeah, so he had to kind of broker something with Rodriguez. And he Rodriguez, he actually his life was saved by John. So right. it was almost like a quid quo quo. Like I had to help you out because a debt repay. Right, a debt repay. So yeah. And he was like, Yep, he did it. So then we see the general, Tornaga's general, show up at the council meeting to talk to Ishido and the council saying that Tornaga resigns from the council. Right. And um, he was like this, uh, we'll still impeach him four to none. And he was like this, well, the Tycho put in there that y'all have five people to vote. You know, so he was like, I regret that you may not be able to do that. Right. However, 
they was offering um which McCall seat to Yabushiki. Yabushiki. Yabu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I mean, so I mean, e eventually, if that does happen down the line, it probably still could happen. But you know, I think I, I think, think that's that, switch up when you get to episode four. So. Right, right, and I think we know that um, Tornaga has well laid plans, but oh boy, the best laid plans aren't always going to go <laughs> according to plans. So. That's true. <sighs> Lord have mercy. So then we get to the boat, and he's asking John to teach him. How to dive. So he asks him to dive a couple of times or whatever. Then next thing yeah, be before that, he gave him, he earned him his new name. Oh, yeah. He, sure he approached him about the journals. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then he questioned about the journals. You know, he said, you know, stuff like that uh, is punishable by death. Right. Like, so he said, it's going to take a while, though, to translate. So that's like uh, all of to extend his reasoning not to kill him. Right, exactly. Because he really don't want to kill him, to be exactly. honest. He said, well, we can't keep calling you Barbarian. He said, I'm going to give you the new name as Hatamoto. Yes. So, um, ascended to almost a samurai. Because uh, a Hatamoto is a um, a, a name of a position yeah. in samurai culture or whatever. So if him, honoring him with that particular title is, you know, him basically ascending to the ranks of samurai yeah. in culture. So I'm like, wow. So, so you get him. So basically, you trust him if you give him that honor. Exactly. Nice. Exactly. So, and I think he does. That's why I say it. it's a very like it's, it's unsaid, but I'm hoping like you catch my drift. Like, yeah, that's like he made an excuse. Like it's gonna take a while to translate. Mm -hmm. Like, dude. <laughs> right. Basically, you don't want to. It, it. it didn't take Mariko too long to translate it. But okay. That was the excuse, though. Right. It was the excuse. That's what I said. Really. <laughs> And okay. so um, we end off with this moment where they're diving and he's diving and diving and diving and redoing, mm -hmm. and, redoing and redoing. And he's like, how much longer do I got to do this? He said. Until, I was tired for him. Right. <laughs> he said, until he's happy. I said, damn. So. I'm like, oh, look at John. His little tidy waddies. Right. So he come on out there or whatever. And then next thing you know, he stops him. Um, and he says that he wants. I said, he probably tied his ass out. So that they can race, so he can win. <laughs> okay, he ain't slick. I said right. that too. Like, I mm. said, uh -uh. Now you want to race? Exactly. Okay. After I dived off this ship like 50, 50, 11 times. Right. And then when he said he was gonna give it a try, he did a big ass belly flop. I said, "You ain't learned nothing from all them times you saw him dive." <laughs> he dived in there. He just kind of like flopped in there. I was like, "Oh." Look. And I like his little get up. I'm like, "Oh, of course we're not gonna see uh Teranaga down to his tidy whities Right, right. Of course not. <laughs> but I thought this was a good thing, like them bonding and stuff like that. And I know that this is going to come back. Yes, this is this is going to come back. Somehow. Most definitely. And that's the way the episode ended. And so yeah, I enjoyed that episode. Yeah, that, that was a good episode. They had they got out of Osaka mm -hmm. safely, but right. they had like a little couple of road bumps, a lot of road bumps actually. They kept being stopped, tried. Right. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and give it a rating. You know how we like to do it. Um, like I said. We started so so high with these ratings, like we keep saying it get better and better. I'm like, well, shoot. I give it a nine point five in my eyes because it's it done got better. It's the the roll bumps, it's the switcher rule, mm -hmm. it's his plan, it's how they it's the comeback. Uh, we actually got some comeback action yeah. in this and we see what our girl Mariko can do. Yeah. So we're right. I give it a. I, I took the five off because her husband was just standing there and they were just not attacking. It was kind of weird. Let me find out you took a point off for that. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was like, why are they standing there? Sorry. I had to take a point, <laughs> half a point away. Okay, we get it. It okay. just made me get hyped. Those, those ones I call bullshit on that scene because I, I ain't nobody going to be just sitting there. <laughs> right. That's what I'm like. Yeah, basically. Yeah. The BS of it all. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm right there with you 9.5. Like I said, yeah, we got Mariko in action. I was like, I was loving that. Um, the moment with her husband, 
it was a good moment. And then also, too, I like the way it kind of ended off on a little like lighter note. So, yeah. And the switcheroo of Tornado and everybody being shocked, even you, yeah, boo. He was shocked, too. Right. You see, his, everything's on his face. So he was shocked. Did you tell me about your plans before. <laughs> We're going to get that into episode four. Oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that wraps up our episode three, Tomorrow's Tomorrow recap with me and Monique Johnson. And yeah, so we definitely gave it a thumbs up. I'm hoping that y'all are catching up. We're going to go ahead and premiere this one. So, all right, y'all. So make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you are finding us for the first time. Make sure you do all of the things. Get down in the comments. Tell us some of your favorite um, scenes, best moments, and all the good stuff. Do you believe that Bantaro is? Because we haven't seen a body. Do you think he's coming back? Do you think we'll see him back? So, you know, it's a yes for mm -hmm. me. Because I'm telling you, I... I Need to convince me after she showed me that scene, so. <laughs> okay. I'm like, wait, what? Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. Love that. So, we'll see. We'll see. And we'll catch you on episode four. Bye, you guys. Bye.